Hello, welcome back to my channel and to today's video, which is something I've not done in a while and it is a charity shop haul. Um, I said over on my Instagram account that I've not been outsourcing on my lunch breaks um, for the last sort of six months um, in Harrogate because I've just been working through a backlog of stuff that I'd bought um, when the YMCA shop was still open. I was getting so much from there that it was really building up. Um, also had the big car boot haul to get through and whatnot. And um, since my eBay sort of setup is just one item a day going live because that's enough to keep my stuff ticking over, um, you know, it takes me a while to get through stuff and I've only got limited storage space. So um, yeah, I kind of work on a small scale. Um, however, I finally got through that backlog and um, only had a few items left to list, so I went sourcing and um, I had been sort of looking in my local town over the last month, sort of every weekend, and hadn't really found anything, um, a few pieces here and there, but nothing sustainable. Um, so I went to the Age UK in Harrogate and um, they had loads of stuff marked down in price usually it's quite pricey in there but with the markdowns it made things more affordable and i went in on one day and got 21 items and spent 105 pounds and went in the following day and got another 16 items and spent another 75 80 pounds um so in total about 180 quid of stuff um now I have spent up here compared to, or paid up here compared to what I usually would do because I tend to be quite cheap when it comes to stock and I get scared. So um, I'm a bit scared now filming this, um, but it goes to show because the cheaper stuff is brands that aren't going to do as well, obviously. It makes sense that it works like that. Um, so I've got a bag full of women's stuff and a bag full of men's stuff. So I'll start off with the men's stuff. I'm glad that I got the men's stuff first because when I went in the following day, um, they'd got rid of most of it. I think because it had been sat reduced, they'd just taken up the shelves and must have sent it to another store. So the first thing I got um, was this Reese shirt. It is um, a cream shirt with navy or well, black stripes going through it and it's an XL, so it's a good size. New with tags and that was reduced from 15 down to 10. So to me, that's a scary purchase, spending 10 pounds on one item. Uh, it's not something I do very often, which I appreciate to most people. Um, that, you know, that's nothing major, but um, you know, we all operate differently. Uh, next, I wouldn't usually pick up Gap, but I thought it was a nice shirt. It was a good size and it was only 2.99. Um, they'd had it out at a five originally, and it's just this sort of, Denimi chambray shirt. Now, let's be honest, it's probably only going to be a 12 quid, maybe 15 max. I'm sure Gap is pretty saturated. You see loads of it on the shelves. Um, but I just thought I would test the waters and see what sort of popularity there is there. Um, and if there's not, then I won't bother picking it up again. Um, next is something that I probably spent too much on. It's a Ted Baker shirt. It's really nice quality. It's the two ply shirt. And it's got nice blue detailing to it with the buttonholes. Um, and it was $6.99, reduced from $8.99. So, yeah, quite expensive because, in my experience, Ted Baker shirts tend to go for about 20 maybe 25 at a push. Um, so, we'll see. Obviously, uh, there's, there's profit in that. But, um, I don't know. Uh, and this, the Ted Baker's are £5 pounds is difficult to shift. And this shirt isn't anything particularly special. So I'm wondering if I'm going to struggle with that, but we'll see. Uh, next up is a Levi's shirt. This was three ninety nine. Um, it's a size medium. Um, I think that'll be fine. You know, might get twenty quid for that. So from four, that is fine with me. Um, a lot of this stuff is bread and butter, by the way. There's there's not no particular uh, bangers, as Sarah would say. Um, the stuff behind me is on the sofa there. On Uber, I've been out and bought today in my local town, and this lot all is very much bread and butter. Besides one item, which I'm not sure on, it might be a banger. Anyway, that's going to be for a different haul. 
video. Uh, next up, a Bowden shirt. This one's 100% cotton. They'd had it out at 12 99 which I've never paid for Bowden, not for a shirt. Um, and they've reduced it to 6 99 But it's this really nice um, floral print. It is a size uh, small. And I think it's one of the newer ones because the um, logo is stitched into the sort of patterned material. Um, so yeah, haven't looked at comps, but I don't know, 25, 30, hopefully it's in beautiful condition. Um, and then really similarly, it's another Bowden shirt, size small, floral, but this one is 100% linen. And it was the same price, it was 6 dollars um, so the same person must have donated both of these. But yeah, just a really nice floral patterned shirt, size small, um, we'll see what I can get for that. Uh, then I picked up this Musto shirt. Um, I've sold a few pieces of Musto before and done all right. It's just a pretty classic red and blue check. And uh, they'd had it out at nine and reduced it to 450. Uh, size small, see the label there. Quite a lot of men's shirts. I did go out with a mindset that I needed to get more both men's and women's um, tops and shirts because that is one thing that I'm um, don't have many of in my eBay store at the moment. And also I'm thinking um, forward here because although we're just going to the depths of winter, um, you know, come January people are going to start shopping for spring clothes and whatnot. So I don't want to be buying too many more jumpers um, now. I want to be focusing a little bit more on summery stuff. So uh, next up is a fat face shirt. This was 2 49 It's just this light, very light red, pinky colour. Um, See there, it's a size small, £2.50 rather than a fiver, and it has the logo in the back of the neck there. And it feels linen -y. let's see. It's defo cotton, because fat face always is. 51% linen, 49% cotton, so there you go. For £2.50, that should be um, a nice profit margin. Uh, then I picked up another Reese shirt. This one had been $8.99 and was reduced to $4.99. This one um, isn't new with tags though. It's a uh, size, it says size XL, but that um, is not a men's XL. So is it a women's XL? I don't know. Reese tends to have the name in the label, doesn't it, of what the item is called. Um, although this label is very faded. So I'm gonna need my phone to shine a torch on that, I think. It's the St Stanley, it's the Stanley shirt. So I'll have to have a look and see whether the Stanley shirt is male or female. Um, anyway, it's in mint condition, um, 4 99 Next is another piece of Gap, but one that I think I'll keep for myself because I really like it. It's just a simple white shirt with two-tone blue stripes running through it. And this was £2.50. Um, but yeah, it's just a gap size. Is it a size small, I think? Medium. Um, a medium tall, apparently. And yeah, it's just 100% cotton. Nothing spectacular, but um, really nice, clean, fresh fresh shirt. Um, that'll be a lovely one for on holiday. Um, then a few pieces of knitwear. I picked up this jumper, brand I've never heard of before, called Nigel Hall. Um, it is a size large, it was 5 .99, and it's 100% merino, so even if the brand isn't very well known, the fact that it's 100% merino should sell it, and it's in perfect condition, really nice navy colour, no bobbles, um, so that's that one. Then I picked up this Timberland one, this is a cotton cashmere blend, I remember that, and it is also um, a... X, size XL, so not a cotton cashmere blend, um, a cashmere and linen blend, so even better. And that one is, was well, 6 99 so yeah, that should be a good 30 35 hopefully. Maybe even push for 40 um, we shall see. It's a thin knit one, so it'll be a good one for spring. And uh, finally in the men's were um, another piece of fat face. I paid up for this, I wouldn't usually pay um, 7 quid on fat face, but it's a double XL. And it's cotton cashmere. This is the one. So the other one, sorry, was cotton and linen. This one's cotton cashmere. So it's six ninety nine, and it's also a two XL. So it's a good size um, and in great condition. It's just this brown 
quarter zip jumper. So hopefully um, that might be more 25 to 30. Uh, we shall see when we talk at comps. So moving on to women's then. Um, there's only one item I got that I'm a bit suspicious of, so I'll show you that when it comes. Um, I picked up my first ever piece of Hush. I have seen Hush in the wild before, but never at a price that I was willing to pay for it. So it's a black hoodie, it's a size medium, and it was £5.99. Um, but yeah, it's just this cropped hoodie um, with velvet tassels. Uh, no idea what it's worth. Hopefully over 20 um, we'll see. I just saw the label and thought that's got to be worth it for six quid. Um, and then this is old label hush. Um, I assume old label because looking at it and also looking at the item. Um, it's not amazing. It's just a blue sort of scoopy neck, um, thin knit jumper. But it was only two ninety nine, so I thought it was worth a go. Um, it's in fair enough condition. Um, you can tell it's been worn, but not extensively. And it's a cotton, silk and cashmere blend. I don't know if you can see that in this lighting. Um, I've got the ring light on because it is not daylight outside. So sorry for the reflection on the glasses. Uh, then I picked up this Hobbs jumper. Um, it's just this baby pink colour. And it was six ninety nine. It's, it's a size small and it's a uh, merino. So yeah, that should be a good thirty quidder at least. Um, sold a merino cardigan for thirty the other week. So nice. And then I got this East sort of um, cardigan wrap thing. Um, it's a linen blend. So. Um, it's about, from memory, about 70% linen and then like 30% polyester or something like that. Um, it was £3.50 and it's a size 18, so it's a good size. Then for £2.99 I picked up this Whistles top. Um, don't usually pick up Whistles unless it's cheap because it seems to stick for me. I can't really, can't seem to sell it. But yeah, just a basic um, sleeveless top, quite nice. Um, with this sort of ruffled collar and then it's got a little bit of a ruching at the neck on the back um, and that one is a size 10 um, but obviously a relaxed size 10. Then I got this Hobbs blouse it's a hundred percent silk and it was 6.99 um, size 10 again but yeah, just really nice cream and black striped blouse. Something new then, and I was worried the phone was about to fall off. I've got you balanced on my nan's mantle clock, just to let you know. <laughs> uh, next up, this is probably a bit of a dud because White Company never sells to me, but this is a white label by the White Company, 100% cotton top um, with a broderie on glaze hem at the bottom. Um, it's a size 8, apparently. I don't see how that's an 8. That looks like more like an 18 to me. But uh, anyway, oversized for sure. Um, and that was 4 49 which is probably too much because ultimately that might just end up going for like 15 quid, um, which obviously is profit, but, you know, not the sort of margins I'm really looking for. Um, but I picked it up. I was excited that I was outsourcing again, so there probably are a few questionable choices here. Um, I then got this Reese blouse. This was six ninety nine. Um, it's a size eight apparently. So again, a relaxed fit, and it's just got this sort of lacy detail to it. It's just polyester, nothing spectacular, um, but in great condition. No marks or pulls. Uh, then there was this Reese top that I should probably have left behind because I can't see it being particularly popular. It's this sort of black. It's not see-through, it's just, uh, well, it's see-through. <laughs> um, black, loose, wo loose woven top, and it's got zips everywhere. It's got zips up the side, there, and zips on the sleeve. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on with it. It was £4.99. Uh, again, it was just like polyester or something, it's nothing special. Um, so probably should have left that one, but... I don't know, even if I only get like 15 quid for it, 
We'll see. I just have a feeling it'll stick around. Um, then I picked up this fat face top, not fat face, phase eight top. Um, these are a really good bread and butter item for me. These seem to sell through quite quickly. It's got this nice broderie on glaze detailing at the bottom. Cream tops seem to be a theme of this haul. Um, it's a size 10 and it does have the material, it was 2 I should say, so, you know, fair price, um, because it has had the materials label cut out, but I am really confident from the others that I've sold that this is a wool blend. Usually there are um, sort of 20% wool, 10% linen, and like the rest is polyester or something. So I am gonna label it as wool blend on the listing, even though I haven't got confirmation because from the feel of it, and having sold um, so many of them, I'm pretty sure about that. Next up um, is Next. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I never pick up Next. I picked this up because it is in collaboration with William Morris. So it's this t-shirt. Um, I don't know what pattern this is. A quick Google will tell me, unless you want to tell me in the comments. It was 3 dollars and it's also a good size, it's an 18, so as you can see there, uh, next X Morris. Um, so yeah, 3 dollars I think there's good profit in that. I hope so. Um, obviously, a lot, a lot of people um, collect Morris stuff, so hopefully it's popular in clothing too. Then um, another piece of jigsaw, like I said, I don't usually pick it up. This is 100% linen, it's this sort of burnt orange top, um, size 10, and it was 3 dollars um, so I picked it up for that. Lots of sort of more basic pieces here. Um, I used to get a lot of dresses from AG UK, but I looked through the rails and there was barely anything worth having. And what was worth having was pricey. We're talking like 20 quid for a Bowdoin dress, second hand. So no. Uh, speaking of Bowdoin, I'm pretty sure this is a pyjama top because it's like a flannel material. Um, I mean, you could wear it as a blouse, I suppose. Um, it's a bit warm, but it was only $1.99 um, and it is a size 12. It's got this nice velvet edging detail to it. It's like a olive green colour. Um, and it's a really pretty pattern. You can tell it's being worn, but it's not um, particularly bubbled or anything. Um, so yeah, unsure. I think I'll probably will just list it as a pyjama top because I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, but yes, $1.99 for that. It's the cheapest thing out of all of it. See, because if you've watched me a while, you know that I'm also used to going to the one pound Martin House shop where I found 100% cashmere Jaeger before. <laughs> so these prices are markedly different. Um, this is a Hobbs top. It's just a fixed wrap top, um, gray, ruched, uh, $3.99 and it's a size 12. So um, yeah, not much to say about that. Then I got a pair of Hobbs beige trousers. Um, there is, they are a cropped or ankle grazer and they are a size eight. So they're a small size and they were $6.99. Um, so we'll see what they're worth. Um, I'm not really sure on Hobbs things for the bottom half. <laughs> um, so we'll see. Uh, hopefully some decent profit in there, but they're in really good condition. Uh, then I got this Bowden top, it's a sort of orangey colour, well it, it's just orange jack, um, but I don't know, it almost uh, got a pinky hue to it too, uh, it was 4 99 which is still probably a bit more than I ought to have paid for it because it is just a basic top, but it's a good size, it's an 18 and it's 100% cotton, so even if it's a 18 quidder, I've still more than tripled my money, we'll see. Uh, another Phase 8 top, this one was 4 dollars it's new label Phase 8, and again, it's a good size, it is an 18 like the Bowden one, um, and it's got this uh, glittery collar detail going on, so yeah, 4 dollars more than I'd usually spend on a Phase 8 top, um, but I was excited to be out shopping again, I certainly wouldn't have paid it for their full price of 6 dollars no way. Then, um, I wouldn't usually spend this on fat face and because I only saw the top at first and it was $5.99, uh, size 10, and uh, there's this top. Um, but at first I um, 
When I realised that it was a set, because um, as you saw the label, it says times two, um, I thought it might be a pyjama set, but the material isn't really pyjama material. I think it is just a co ord set. So you've got the top here, and as you can see, it's this sort of like green and white Aztec pattern. And then along with that, you get the little shorts too. So I'm, I'm thinking I'd probably be better off selling it as a set. I'll have a look at comps and see whether I'm better off splitting it or selling it as a set because what I was thinking was logically um, it's £3 an item, which is much more um, fat face realm for me, that kind of money. Um, uh, but they're both in beautiful condition. They'd be great for a festival. <coughs> I'm ill prepared and haven't got myself a glass of water, so I've got a dry throat, but we've only got a couple of items left, so I have to power through. Um, so, the penultimate item is this pair of cords. They're pink and they've got this cool belt loop detail, and they've got a Reese label in them, but I've never seen that Reese label before. Now, obviously, it would be an old label, but I don't know if this is just a fake or if it's just a really old pair. Uh, and they were six ninety nine as well, um, size twelve. They're in gorgeous condition, um, but yeah, I need to have a look at that. I tried googling it, but I uh, couldn't find anything, so we'll see. Um, finally, um, this is a pair of white jeans from Sandro with contrast stitched seams up the front and sides um really beautiful condition five pound fifty and uh, a size eight so yeah love has sold sandro before so not sure what they're worth but i'm sure there's some profit in there um obviously small size but they are gorgeous they look so nice on a beach these are beach trousers to me <laughs> um so yes, that is everything I got in Age UK for £180. Um, I'm sure that there is plenty of profit in it, but there's a few items that I'm questioning myself on. I just think I've spent a little bit more than I should have. Anyway, i uh, managed to keep this to just over 20 minutes, which for me is good. That's quite short for me. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I've enjoyed filming it and I've enjoyed going out sourcing again. It's nice to be back out doing what I enjoy. Um, so yeah, like I said, I've got another, um, I've got two hauls to film, one from my local town and another one from um, a Bernardo's superstore that's opened up in York. So those will be coming out at some point in the very near future. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day and I will see you again soon with another video.